May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. September 21, 2023 Feast of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. And so, as a prisoner in the Lord, I beg you to walk in a manner worthy of the vocation to which you have been called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, supporting one another in charity. Be anxious to preserve the unity of the Spirit within the bonds of peace. One body and one Spirit, to this you have been called by the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in us all. Yet to each one of us there has been given grace according to the measure allotted by Christ. And the same one granted that some would be apostles, and some prophets, yet truly others evangelists, and others pastors and teachers, for the sake of the perfection of the saints, by the work of the ministry, in the edification of the body of Christ, until we all meet in the unity of faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God as a perfect man, in the measure of the age of the fullness of Christ. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens show forth the glory of God, and the firmament declareth the work of his hands. Day to day uttereth speech, and night to night sheweth knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. There are no speeches nor languages, where their voices are not heard. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Their message goes out through all the earth, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And when Jesus passed on from there, he saw, sitting at the tax office, a man named Matthew. And he said to him, Follow me. And rising up, he followed him. And it happened that, as he was sitting down to eat in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners arrived, and they sat down to eat with Jesus and his disciples. And the Pharisees, seeing this, said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But Jesus, hearing this, said, It is not those who are healthy who are in need of a physician, but those who have maladies. So then, go out and learn what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the just, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Are there areas in your life where you may be self-righteous or pursuing worldly desires instead of following Jesus? Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners. Matthew 9 verses 11 to 13 Just prior to this passage quoted above, Jesus saw Matthew, a tax collector, sitting at his custom post collecting taxes. Jesus walked up to him and said two simple words, follow me. What did Matthew do? He got up and followed Jesus, and invited him to his home for a meal. When the Pharisees saw this, they acted with judgment and cruelty. They said, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Their reaction and Jesus' subsequent response to them, says much about the goodness of our Lord. When Jesus said that he did not come to call the righteous but sinners, he was not speaking of the truly righteous. 
For example, the most righteous person alive at that time, other than Jesus, was his dear mother. And we can be certain that not only did Jesus call her, but that she always responded with her whole heart. However, Jesus was speaking of those who were self-righteous. A self-righteous person is one who thinks highly of themselves, ignoring the truth of God, but choosing instead, to elevate their own image in their own eyes, and in the eyes of others. Simply put, to be self-righteous is to believe a lie, and in fact, to believe the worst of lies. It's the worst of lies because this sin has the effect of causing a person to remain obstinate and stuck in their sin. The self-righteous person does not see any need for repentance or change in their life. Therefore, they are not open to the word of God and to allowing that word to transform them. Saint Matthew, whom we honor today, was different. He was a sinner indeed. Most likely, he was greedy and overly attached to his money. Tax collectors were not highly regarded at that time, because they were Jews who worked for the Romans, and were therefore, seen as traitors to their own people. Additionally, they were seen as thieves, because they often extorted more than they should receive, so that they could pocket some of the money. For this reason, many Jews also feared the tax collectors, because they knew the tax collectors had Rome's support in this illicit activity. What's amazing is that, Jesus approached Matthew, the sinner and tax collector, and confidently called him to be a follower. Most likely, Jesus could see into his heart. He knew Matthew was not happy with his life and was searching for more. Therefore, as soon as Jesus called him to follow him, it is clear that something took place within Matthew's soul. The fact that he got up and followed our Lord, shows that the spiritual draw to Jesus, was far more powerful than his desire for earthly wealth. This same truth applies to each and every one of us. No matter what we find ourselves drawn to, and no matter how we seek satisfaction in life, the supernatural truth is that, there is only one thing that will satisfy. We could have all the money in the world, all earthly power and prestige, and still, in the depths of our souls, we will not find peace until we turn to Jesus and follow him. Some people learn this truth early in life, some later in life, and some never discover it at all. Reflect today, upon how satisfied you are with your life. Is there something missing? If so, look at your goals and priorities in life. What do you spend most of your time thinking about, talking about, and daydreaming about? If it is not our Lord who occupies your mind, heart, and every desire, then you can expect that you will experience discontentment in life. In that case, look to the witness of Saint Matthew. He is a saint today, because he responded to Jesus' invitation to abandon his life of sin and greed, so as to follow him in poverty. But in that worldly poverty and abandonment of earthly things, Saint Matthew became abundantly rich and will remain so forever in heaven. Let us pray. Lord of all satisfaction, you call all your people to follow you. Please open my mind and heart to that call, so that I can not only hear you, but also respond with all my heart. Please help me to detach from the things of this world that keep me from you, so that I can follow you wherever you lead. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.